So this week we have been learning about being grateful, about being thankful. And we've been learning a Bible story. I'm going to walk back toward the back and start with kind of here a little bit. There's some 8s and 11s. So somebody tell me if you know what is the, the Bible story this week about being thankful. What, what is it about? Don't tell me the story. Tell me kind of maybe the title of the story. Jesus and the Ten Lepers, exactly right. And uh, let me go back one more level. Somebody back here, tell me uh, the beginning of the story of Jesus and the Ten Lepers. Anybody know? Okay, here's one there. Real loud. You forgot. Jesus was going somewhere. You know where he was going? Jerusalem. Jesus was going to Jerusalem. And on his way to Jerusalem, what did he see? Ten lepers. Ten lepers. And somebody tell me what leprosy is. Uh, a disease that can make your nose fall off or your arm, I mean, it's a skin disease that can make your nose fall off. What else can it make fall off? Uh, it can make your fingers fall off. It can make your fingers fall off. What else can it make fall off? Your toes. Your toes. And so it is a terrible disease. And back in Jesus' time, was there a cure for leprosy? No. So if you had leprosy, what would happen to you? You might die, and before you died, did you get to stay at your house and, and do things like normal? No, you did not. What happened to you about that? So people would throw rocks at them, and they would get thrown out of their own family's house. Exactly. People would throw rocks at them and say, stay away, you're unclean, they couldn't even be at home. It was terrible to have leprosy. So Jesus comes across these ten lepers. Come to the front row here. And what happened when Jesus saw the ten lepers? Did he just walk out on that? No. What did he do? He helped the lepers see. And how did he help the lepers? What did he do for them? He healed them. He healed them. And so there were ten lepers that he healed. What did the lepers do as soon as they figured out they were healed? Exactly right. Jesus told them to go to the priests. And before, uh, and so they went to, as they were making their way to the priest, they discovered that all of a sudden they were healed. And so ten lepers are headed to the priest, and then they find out that they are healed. And what happened to the ten lepers? What did they do? Exactly right. One came back to thank Jesus, and the other nine, what did they do? They did not come back. Now you might remember one day we, we uh, I asked you, y'all had such great answers. What do you think are some of the reasons that the other nine did not come back? Some folk in the back that y'all want to get to. So what would be maybe one reason that somebody didn't come back? Because they forgot. Because they forgot. Great answer. What would be another reason that somebody didn't come back? They were so happy, they just forgot exactly. Great. What's another reason? They couldn't find Jesus. They couldn't find Jesus. They didn't know where he went. Good answer. What's another reason? My little brother took my answer. Okay, okay. so your answer already got taken. What's another reason? Um, they probably were too excited to see their family, so they just went along and saw their family. They've been away from their family so long, and I'm so excited because they could finally get to see their family. It's been way What's another reason that maybe they didn't uh, come back and say thank you? Because they probably weren't um, Jesus followers. Okay, so maybe they weren't Jesus followers. Maybe they didn't believe Jesus did it, huh? Okay, listen. Maybe they just didn't care enough to tell you. They didn't care. I don't care. I don't know. That's a good answer. Okay, two more. They were probably embarrassed. They were embarrassed and didn't, didn't want to say thank you. And now I'm here last. So what was the last or oh, one hearted reason? Well, sometimes people just think, ah, oh, you did this. Whatever. We don't have to thank you. You 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 seem happy already. You don't need to be thanked because 
Um, you already did this and you seem like you like doing this without any, and you don't actually need to thank you, but the other driver was like, he, he got excited, but he also was like, I want to go thank you. And um, the other driver was like, whatever, let's go see you need a priest so we can go to our family because Jesus doesn't need to thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. So lots of different reasons. Some of them may have been good reasons, and some of them were not good reasons. And the last thing I want all of you to, to yell out if you know the answer to this question, what is the secret to being happy? The secret to happy is to? Be thankful. To be thankful. So let's all say that together. The secret to being happy is to? Be thankful. All right.